Loch Gelly Town Hall is used to holding gatherings. It was a slightly older audience that today crammed into the venue, welcomed with free tea and a friendly handshake from a former Prime Minister. They come for the launch of a new campaign group to keep pensions British. Why, if you paid in all your life, if you've made these contributions, should we be contemplating giving up on this British pension. The MP for Kirkcaldy and Cowden Beath just doesn't believe the Nationalists have done their sums when it comes to pensions in an independent Scotland. There are three billion pounds they can't account for and that's half the bill for Scottish pensions and I wouldn't like to bet my future on what they themselves call the volatility of the social security spending regime in an independent Scotland. The Scottish Government have pledged to continue paying the basic state pension at the same rate if there's a yes vote and they've suggested independence could mean Scots get to retire sooner than down south. Gunbrow is just plain wrong and you know, as I say with his record on pensions nobody should believe a word that he says. You know, We know that as a percentage of our GDP delivering pensions and social protection payments is more affordable in Scotland than it is in the rest of the UK. Gordon Brown was happy to talk about pensions today but the former Chancellor was less keen to wade into the controversy over a currency union. Last week Labour's Ed Balls joined George Osborne in ruling out sharing the pound if Scotland votes yes. Was Ed Balls right to rule out a currency union? I, I've been talking about uh, pensions today. But uh, yeah, but I've been talking about pensions. I'm going to continue talking about pensions. I've said that the, the SNP have made three mistakes, and Ed Balls is right to point out the dangers of a currency union that doesn't have a banking union and doesn't have a fiscal union. Well, some Scots may feel doomed. I, I think I've done a full interview. One more. But there will be no avoiding currency union questions for Danny Alexander, as the Chief Secretary to the Treasury faces MSPs at Holyrood tomorrow. Claire Stewart, STV News, Loch Gelly.